Hey guys, BJ Kissel with Arrowhead Pride and SB Nation talking to you about the Kansas City Chiefs use of Jamal Charles through the first six games of the season. Just a quick side note that if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that. And if you haven't subscribed to the SB Nation NFL channel, go ahead and do that too because all the cool kids are doing it. And with the Arrowhead Pride channel, maybe one lucky subscriber is going to get a free gift one day. That hasn't been approved and I don't know that, but if it's going to help me get subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and say it. So we're going to compare Jamal Charles' first six games of 2012 back to his 2010 record-breaking season. Now, this season in 2012, through the first six games, he's carried the ball 115 times for 591 yards for an average yards per carry of 5.1. Now back in 2010, through the first six games, he'd carried the ball just 81 times for 489 yards for a yards per carry average of 6.03. So obviously the Chiefs fans out there that wanted to see Jamal Charles getting the ball in his hands more often, you're getting your wish, but you also have to be careful, careful what you wish for because you don't want to get Jamal Charles hurt. You gotta find that fine line between giving them the ball as much as you can because he is your best offensive player, but not just wearing him down and giving him the ball so much that he loses that that speed and agility that makes him such a special player. So, you know, he's on pace for 307 carries for 2012, if these numbers hold true for the rest of the season. In 2010, he carried the ball just 230 times. So you're looking at, based on the numbers right now, 77 more carries when it's all said and done this season than he had back in his record-breaking season in 2010. He's currently fifth in the NFL with 115 rushing attempts. So obviously the Chiefs are leaning on him, and it makes sense because when you're trying to win a football game, you want to get the ball in the hands of your best player. And for the Chiefs, and especially on the offensive side of the ball, that's Jamal Charles. And 55 career games, Charles only carried the ball 25 times or more in four games. And two of those have been this season. He carried the ball 33 times against the New Orleans Saints, and then 31 times against the Baltimore Ravens. So he is getting the ball a lot more than he has in the past. So it's something to look for to pay attention to later in the season and as we progress to see how the team is doing and how many carries Charles is getting because he's going to be a big piece to this offense for the next few years and obviously you don't want to do anything that's going to take away from how he's going to be for this team for the next few years. You don't want to waste it all on, on one year, especially when the team is struggling. So uh, he's also leading the NFL in rushes of 20 yards or more with six. So he's obviously still a special player. He bounced back from the ACL injury probably better than anyone could have expected. Uh, I think a lot of even the most optimistic Chiefs fan you know, knew or hoped that he was going to be close to the same player. But uh, he's done that. We've, he's really been the guy that we've leaned on offensively to try to give us a spark. Uh, the only win we have this season was pretty much riding Jamal Charles the entire game. He had 233 yards, the 91-yard touchdown against the Saints in the Chiefs' only victory of the season. So it's something to look forward to for the rest of the season, how the Chiefs are using Jamal Charles as we sit here in the bye week. Hopefully he gets some rest because it looks like we're going to keep leaning on him for the rest of the season. For Arrowhead Pride and SB Nation, I'm BJ Kissel.